guys so today I will be starting this video like I always do oh my god I almost fell um <laughs> I always say this time no I don't I always say today I'm going to start the video and I'm working on my eye contact as you can see so whenever you see me looking like this instead of like this because I'm looking at the LCD screen you're gonna have to excuse me because I'm still a little bit under the weather that's why I sound kind of stuffy my nose is stuffy. And today I'll be modeling some of the stuff that I picked out from HotMiamiStyles.com. You probably already saw the purple top, but I'll show you again in this video because that was featured in my blog already. Quick little note. Do not jump on gurus for getting sponsored. The fact that gurus get sponsored doesn't make the company any bad or the product any worse. The clothes that I chose, it's quite covered up like this top. Some of the dresses that I got though, they're uh, for special occasions and I'll show you and I'll talk about the dresses that I chose. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's start off with this shirt. One of the shirts that I got, <coughs> cough, sorry. And the cool thing about this, it's plaid. It's more of a dressier shirt, kind of has that feel to it. It has buttons here with like little diamonds and it looks really pretty. You can roll up the sleeves or leave them down like that and it has two buttons like this. Really kind of projected, see how they kind of pop out like that. Um, if you're not a big fan of the little scarf thing here, you can always take it down and it's kind of just like this scarf hanging down almost. They have these two strips like this. Okay, so I'm back with the black shirt. And this is the lace top from the top section only like this. Kind of ruffles up here. And it's a short sleeve. And from the back, there's also lace. This is how it looks all together. It just ends right about here. It has princess themes. But this is how it looks. But this is one of my favorites. I like how I look at this one because it's black. Black kind of accentuates my hair because it's black. Alright, I also wanted to show you this um, fur vest. And this one only has, I still have the black top underneath. But I wanted to show you, this one has a hood. It kind of feels like wool. It doesn't feel like jersey, it feels like wool. And it has one button here. And in the back, it also has the same material as the, the hood. So it's just the same thing. And it feels really warm actually. You would have to layer this up with a either like a black cardigan or a black sleeve um, shirt or something. Just so it keeps you warm during the winter if you want to wear it since it has no sleeves at all. But this is the little vest that I chose. I like it. Oh my god, I love this shirt even more now that I've tried it on. This is the first time that I put it on. I love that it's just one shoulder and then it has a bunch of studs all the way around like that. And then it has one sleeve that is very drapey like that this you can wear it as a dress see if I were to stretch it out it goes on forever all the way down but it would be really tight for me better to wear it as a shirt which you could do if you wear a skirt you can even stitch it up right here and this would be the only thing showing it's super cute let's go on to the next so I also got this top that you probably already saw on my um, Chictopia video and it's just a knit top like this it's just a really, really warm top, quarter inch sleeves, and then it's a turtleneck so it keeps you really, really warm. And then I also got the necklaces from their website, the black one that I had on my blog post. There's also a purple one, white one, and there's also red ones, and they all come with little earrings like this. So you will see these on my blog as well. As you can tell, I'm really excited and I think I need to stop saying this is my favorite because I've been saying it for like, oh no, this is my favorite. No, this is my favorite. I, I like everything. Let's go on to the next item. You could probably tell that I love purple, right? So this is another top and it's in purple. And this one is actually more for spring or summer since the fabric is kind of cool. And it'll keep you cool during the summertime when it's really, really hot out. It has a keyhole in the front and the sleeves, they're very drapey, they're very large. They look really nice because it's a really drapey outfit. As you can see, there's kind of like um, false pleating going on. You get that pleating effect, even though there's not any pleating. And it's pretty long, almost like a tunic. You could even wear this as a dress. And you can tie it up here at the waistline. So here, this is how it looks. And you just tie it up. And it kind of gathers up um, parts of the shirt. This is the purple bat blouse, I'm going to call it. 
So here is the next outfit. I paired it up with a fedora and this is the dress that I chose. Um, I have a black one like this already from the last time that I did a video on this website and I really really liked it because it's a jersey and it's so flowy and it doesn't hug you. I mean this is the kind of stuff that I would wear to if I was going to the beach like Santa Monica or to Venice Beach or whatever you know just something that I would wear if I was just strolling around the beach with my boyfriend or when you get out the water if you go to the pool especially spring is kind of cold so just towards the end of spring into summer that's when I would wear something like that. and it ties up right here I still need to tie it up a little more but the black one that I got it didn't tie so I had to snip it myself and it just kind of hugs you right here oh, sorry <laughs> hugs you right here and it's kind of like the seams they're kind of colorful the green orange yellow blue and stuff and it's really flowy and it hits right above my kneecap so I hope you like this dress so I'm keeping my hat on I picked out a few summer things summer spring things so this is a jumper a romper actually and it's short it has shorts at the bottom it's strapless then it has this thing that kind of simulates it like you would tie it but you can't tie it. It has all these really beautiful colorful stripes. Um, I apologize I can't show you head to toe but on my blog you will see head to toe in many different poses but I lost my tripod so I can't um, put my camera at a certain angle so you can see me completely from head to toe. So I'll try and stand on this chair hopefully I don't fall but this is another dress that I chose kind of has a paisley print very flowy completely forgot the the fan was on and I almost took my head off right now. This is the dress, purple. I chose a lot of things that are purple, but this is another one of like a dress that I would wear to a party. And I am going to show you next the dress that I chose for my niece's baptism. Hold on. So here I have the dress. Um, this one, you already saw it on my blog, but it's this really long, beautiful dress. So it has what it looks like a belt right here made out of sequins with the stumps only it's only in the front looks like that it's um spaghetti strap dress oh my god gorgeous and the best part about this dress is the bottom and it's really long and you open it up and it has this beautiful pattern of i'm not sure what it is a lot of movement and this is the dress that i chose for my niece's first um, her baptism because I'm gonna be her madre now her godmother and I wanted to wear a dress that was long just to cover it up because I'm gonna be at church and everything and I don't like to be exposed like if I was going to the club when at family events it's, my whole family is gonna be there so I chose a dress like this it's still pretty cute because of the top so you have exposed shoulders and everything but the bottom start right beneath your bust and they just flow all the way down like maxi dresses those make you look a lot taller so the next dress this is more of a provocative dress I would say this one does fit me really really tight and it's really short um thick strap so that's the good part that it's not spaghetti strap and it's not strapless so at least you have something like this black gray and white dress the stripe like I said it's really really short and it's really tight but just it all depends on how you dress it up the way I would wear this is if I was going out and I was wearing this dress I would pair it up with some leggings I would throw on a cardigan probably and or some tights I would wear tights and some really nice boots or heels um, but I would not go out anywhere with just a really tight mini dress. That's just not my style. And last but not least, I wanted to show you the sweater that I picked out, especially right now because it's really cold outside and rainy. It has this really big hood that covers your hair. When, so when it's raining, just throw it on and you don't get your hair wet. And it's really, really long. Like, it's right above my kneecap. It has buttons here, really big buttons. And then it also has this little belt I would say and it's to cinch up the waist so it's not as flowy so it kind of looks like a trench coat it's a long sleeve and um, it's not as thick it's actually quite thin enjoyed this haul video um, and all the things that I picked out I personally picked them out so I hope you enjoy them check out my blog because I will be styling um, complete outfits today I was just showing you how they look on me you guys enjoyed it and have an awesome weekend okay bye